What happens when we die? It's a new film exploring what happens after we die. That's dissecting every angle behind this question. It's a question that all of us have pondered at least once. It's called After Death. The documentary After Death. I just got done watching this movie called After Death. For the first time in my entire life, I've felt hope. I have spent the last 20 minutes bawling my eyes this out. This movie is a gift. It had me on the edge of my seat. It made me feel less afraid of death. There is an undeniable fascination with the afterlife. I left just like not knowing what to do with myself, really. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it before. It's beautiful. And it just made everything I've read in the Bible seem so real, like love, helping people, purpose, being a light. It's one of the most extraordinary films you will ever see. You took seven years of your life to create it. What was your why? This project came together over the course of a lot of years. What you're seeing and experiencing is sometimes five years to a decade of a thought. This has been several years in the making for our directors, Stephen and Chris. We're trying to straddle the line between showing the scientific angle of near-death experiences as well as the personal stories. So we're really trying to speak to the heart and to the mind. And then COVID hit. And the team didn't sit back. They developed the story stronger and stronger and stronger. We shot in countless cities all around the world. Countless flights with 20 check bags. We decided it would be best to film it on a stage. So we've got two computers, four different projectors showing plates for our driving scene. The studio we're at now is Baja Film Studios, built by 20th Century Fox for the Titanic. We started to work on Titanic. And we also exploded in here, the cargo ship. Pearl Harbor's been shot here, Master and Commander. Tomorrow Never Dies. Filming all of the reenactments. We did a real wreck. Scored through Holland's Opus, Die Hard, The Revenant, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, Brokeback Mountain. Filming for 11 days and we have two units going at the same time. Just the amount of shots that we have to get within such a little amount of time is very, very ambitious. We called up Don Piper. Don could see my view of the hospital room and he said it was almost a little too accurate. Is this accurate? Is this picture accurate? It's definitely a fantastic story. That has not been done before, hasn't been seen before. Yeah, exactly. I want people to really consider, is there something after death? As we experience these stories in this film, that they're thinking more about the life that are living here and now. What could you do with the time that you have here? From the entire production team, we want to invite you in to experience the process of making After Death.